Everybody knows Theodore Roosevelt. He was the 26th president of the United States, played by Robin Williams in that one movie, Night at the Museum. Uh, but in reality, he was quite an incredible individual. Born in 1858 on October 27th, um, he was a very sick child. He didn't have very good health in his younger years, but through a combination of a rugged lifestyle and simply growing out of these problems, um, he would overcome them and become a very, um, well, very healthy individual. Um, because of his masculine persona and his very outdoors this nature, um, we see him in this very cowboy-esque uh, light today um, that he encapitalized throughout his entire life and basically his entire political career as well. Um, uh, but beyond his just tough exterior, he also um, was a very intelligent gentleman. Um, being homeschooled all his life, he ended up going to Harvard um, when he decided to go to college. Um, and did very well there. After finishing Harvard, he would go to write the, a book, The War of, the Naval War, rather, of 1812. Um, and he would write this in 1882, citing him as a great historian and a very good writer. Um, during, much later, he would go to lead the Rough Riders in the American-Spanish War, um, becoming a war hero seen across the nation. Um, and after he got back, he would become the governor of New York, um, where he continued to push for his ideals of progressiveness and outdoor preservation. Um, he would be elected president, uh, vice president to President uh, William McKinley at the time, um, until McKinley would be assassinated in 1901. Um, from there, he would become president himself, and becoming president mean he could enforce his ideas of nature preservation and progressiveness there as well, and he did very much so. Um, he would fight for fairness, he would bust trusts, um, lower the rates on railroads, and made sure the common people had clean food and medicine available to them. Um, he would also establish many, 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 many uh, national parks and forests across the country, things like Yellowstone um, and the Great Canyon. Um, but he's also known for building the Panama Canal down in Panama, and that was to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, um, which would cut months off uh, seafaring time, which was the main source of uh, transporting goods and services back then. Um, and he would also have a very high uh, attention to our naval military. Um, he would expand our naval fleet, um, what was called at the time the uh, <clears throat> um, he would go to expand the uh, the white great white fleet and put on a world tour around the world. Um, to present the United States global power. Um, and then he would also go to end the Russo-Japanese War um, in 1906, and that would win him a Nobel Peace Prize. Um, so he would honestly also avoid things like uh, money and tap issues during his political career because he didn't see those as concerns so much as he did like the actual American people. Um, and after um, his presidential campaign from uh, 1904 to 1908, uh, he would try to run a couple more times, although his health would eventually fail him in 1919, um, during which he uh, also advocated President Woodrow Wilson to enter war against Germany to save the people of France, and would uh, honestly... Um, go down as the greatest American hero of all time. So, yeah. Um, top son of a bitch, and he did very good things for this country. Thank you.